How's it? Welcome back to the channel. So here's an interesting, you know, like maybe even fun meditation technique that I've been playing around with here lately, primarily using it as a way to pass the time as I'm lying in bed, waiting to sink down into stage one of sleep and get these hypnagogic images going. And it's quite similar to Michael Radruga's uh, imagined movement technique that he covers in his book, The Phase, that we've been going over here lately on the channel. So what I'm doing with this is I'm trying to induce the feeling of movement as if I'm spinning like the hands on a clock, not like I'm huli huli chicken or something like that. If you, if you don't know what that is, it's a Hawaii thing, go ahead and Google it. But I'm trying to uh, imagine I'm spinning like this, not as if I have like a skewer stuck down through my head and I'm rotating over fire. And like the main way it differs from uh, Michael Rodriguez's uh, technique for entering into the phase is that I'm doing this far away from REM sleep where, you know, to get into the phase, you pretty much have to be entering into REM. Although I'm sure this technique would work perfectly fine, you know, doing it with this whole indirect and deferred method thing to go ahead and, you know, enter into the phase and try to separate from your stencil or physical body and all of that. So um, what I'm doing with this is I'm pretty much going to be starting this movement in one of two places when I'm getting it going, right? I either imagine the movement to be started in my lower abdomen or I can do it with my eyes. And because I made this video recently about moving your eyes in certain ways to influence your hypnagogia, I was trying to pay like close attention to where they were. So they seem to be resting like down and slightly centered, right? So if you're going to be starting this movement with your eyes is you just want to very subtly and gently start to rotate your eyes in a circle. I mean, so, so subtle, it's almost like they're just vibrating or maybe not even really moving. It might just be straight up imagined movement that your eyes are actually circling, right? And then you want to start searching for that uh, physical sensation of rotating along with, you know, the same direction that your eyes are going. And when I'm just starting out with this, you can actually switch directions. So you can go like, you know, clockwise one way. When you get to the top of the rotation, go counterclockwise the other way and just go back and forth with that. But once you really get it going, I tend to stick to, you know, one direction or the other. And it's a very fun one to play around with. I think it would be like particularly cool for someone who's like, you know, just brand new to this stuff. Because like it's an awesome example of how you can pull off these, you know, really interesting and kind of fun mind tricks in your head by doing certain things. And I do kind of see it as like lucid dreaming as being like a really awesome mind trick. Anyway, um, it's a fun one to play around with. Go ahead and test it out. Um, I feel like I did a kind of really quick job trying to explain it. But anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I can make a follow-up video on this or something. But that'll wrap it up. Until the next video, keep your meditation practices legit.